Hi, I want to do a quick little film on how to use the profile feature. So from the main screen, I'm going to click on the profile. <coughs> and then the gray profile, I'm going to tap on that one. And now I'm in the profile details. So the first thing you see is this window. If you're on the iPad, you'll see a item for device. And then make sure that the device is the right one that you are currently using. Because if you choose the wrong one, the screen may get messed up. So for the window setting, this is how content is going to be displayed on your device. So for the most part, you can choose landscape. If you're on the iPad, there's a lot of different options you can use to let you use it in portrait mode also. So just look at what you have, like what HMD device you want to use, and then find the one that looks the best because sometimes like you may want to use the virtual four inch option and then that will create a four inch view on your phone which is the same as the iPhone 5 which is great if you're using the Yay 3D viewer. Okay so back to this now. So if I want I can go for landscape that's the default. That's usually what you want. But also if I want to, I can switch it to the iPhone 4S size, which is the 3.5, or I can say custom. And then I can then define my own size, which I'm going to skip right now. And then for the HMD, you know, here are your possible HMD options. You know, none means you're not going to use an HMD, you're just going to use your, your eyes. And there's two different versions. There's mono and then there's SBS, which means side by side. So if you want to have a 3D perspective, you choose side by side. If you're a child under seven, you should probably use none mono since they should not be using side by side stuff with their young eyes. And then if you have the ultra gaze, or a Google Cardboard, you can choose these two built-in options. And then if you have something else, you can probably choose Google Cardboard and then play with its settings to then get the best experience. And then you have FOV options, and then more of them show up if you choose Alter Gaze. But then here, you can just go in here and, you know, you can change the FOV in case you're HMD allows for a like larger one. And now let me look under here. And then we go to our experience. So alignment delay is the time when you hit the button to enter the VR player until it actually gets to playing content. So like if you need to take like four or five seconds to put your phone into your HMD unit, then you probably want to then choose a time in here, which will give you enough time to tap the button and then place your phone into the HMD and then strap it on your face. Because then when it hits zero, it's going to recalibrate your current view center and then it'll make you look that way. So it just, you know, set this, give this enough time so you can get your face and your phone pointed in the right direction. And then there's this thing called stare delay, and that's how long you need to look at something before an action happens. It, you know, there's also, you know, this goes up to a really high, high distance or a really high time just for if, if you're making videos and you can stare at things. But then, you know, that's how long you need to stare at something before the action will occur. And then for the view angle, that's the angle that the content will be projected at. So if you want it on the ceiling, you can click on here and you can, you know, you can basically say I want it on the ceiling or I want it on the floor. The on desk, that's like if you're in a using a iPad and it's in its stand, then that's about 30 degrees. And now there's the offset X and Y. And then the issue is the cursor is actually projected from your left eye. So the left eye and the Right eye are going to be looking at like different spots, but then really you probably want the cursor in the middle of your two eyes. So with this, you can go in there and you can then, I want to now adjust it, you know, positively to better center it for my eyes. And now a new thing is you can now choose the player to be on the top 
or the bottom, and then the player, when it's actually playing content, it will now auto-hide itself, so you can choose how long it needs to wait before it hides itself, or just turn it off so it's always on. And then there's the hide mode, and then this is what it should do when it hides. You know, should it go to like 20% visible, 10%, 5%, or just be completely invisible? It's up to you. And now this reposition settings, move time allows you to, that's if you wanted to like, if you were looking one way and then you wanted to turn your chair and look a different way, you'd use that. Because then that'll give you a decent amount of time, you know, just to move your body. You know, so then when the timer hits zero, it's going to then reorientate your view. And then switch time is how long it takes you to take off your current HMD and hand it to someone else. So like if I was going to demo this to someone else, I then firstly look at the switch time icon, enable that, and then take it off, hand it to them, and then when that timer hits zero, it's going to then re reorientate the view for them. So it's just a nice way to make sure the screen is facing the, the correct direction when they put it on. So you just need to choose a time that makes sense for your current HMD setup. And then you have stars. If you want to, you can you can turn them on. They really don't do anything other than fly fly by like in the old Windows screensaver. You know, if you're if you turn on stars, you're probably not going to you're probably not going to look at content because you're just going to watch stars fly fly by. And then here's just a, a bunch of a bunch of different access options. If you want, you know, you can turn off access to photos, videos, panoramas, and also files just for this one profile. And then the photos, videos, and panoramas ha have the star because you must enable photo access. And you do that from the main page. When you turn on the app for the first time, there will be a button and you need to tap it to enable photo access. And then once that's done, you know, it'll be fine. Everything's good. And then down here, we call it playback defaults. And then what you're going to do is you can go in here and you can change how content is displayed based upon the playback types. So for 2D, if I want to, I can click in here and then I want to say, actually, you know what, use the standard screen. And then for 3D side by side, use standard side by side. And then for 3D OVR, use standard 16 and OVR. And then for 1610, use the 1610 standard. So I can go in here and I can customize what preset I want to use when playing content. And then in, at the bottom is video photo panorama. Because these types are built into the phone, you can set it up here. But then all these other different types, if you add a file into our system, we will create metadata for it. And then that data will then specify the playback type and a possible preset. So you know if your file was in two, uh, I mean if your file was a 3D side by side, then you know when you play it, it's going to go in here and look up 3D side by side and use the preset that you chose. But then if you wanted to have a different preset based upon your preference in your own profile, then it is possible to just go in here and set it. So the same video viewed in two different profiles will look different based upon your current settings. All right, that's the main thing there. And then also you can tap on the edit icon here. And if you want, you can just move them around. It really doesn't do anything, but you know, if you want to, you can move them. You can also tap on one while you're in this mode. Then you can also copy it too, which is nice.